class is in session. The professor is in. Welcome, y'all. We got the top four or five or six or seven for this uh, weekend's upcoming boss battle. We got Cody Rhodes. The story continues. He's going to be our boss for this weekend. So let's go over the best damage dealers. That's what this video is all about. Whom is going to be the best damage dealer at six star gold for levels 23? If you want information about whom you can use, if you don't have any of these top four or five or six, uh, then check out the Boss Battle Bargain Bin video. That will be my next video uh, coming out shortly afterwards. So make sure to check that one out uh, and you'll get your information that you need there. So let's go over the Boss Battle in general. Our Boss Battle attributes, Snowfall Gems do 1200% more damage. The green gems do 500% more damage. Multiply gems will increase their strength by 10 and zero countdown gems will be allowed this time around. The shield for this one is 135 green gems. So we're looking for people that are going to do obviously green gem damage if it gets to turn two, but we're looking to beat this turn one. So the two that you're gonna need are green gems basically and those that can put up multiply gems. Those are the two that we're really looking for, all right? So who do we got? Who's gonna be probably your best in the top four? Uh, the focus category seems to be the biggest one, so I'll pick a few in the focus category that are probably gonna do uh, the most amount of damage. Uh, and the first one of that is going to be Sami Zayn, the underdog from the underground. He has not only, well, you're going to need him to have gears. That 100% more gem damage will be clutch for this. Uh, Strap-wise, you're going to be looking to, uh, Sheik Plate sort of not necessary. It's going to be the Pyro Princess Plate. That's going to be the big one that you're going to need. I bet your mind is on somebody else over here somewhere. It is. It's on Ray. Uh, so the, the Pyro, uh, Piper's Power, The not the Pyro Princess, bro, come on. Uh, that's definitely one that you're going to need uh, on there. It's not going to be the triple green. Um, it is actually going to be with this move right here. So we're going to take off uh, this destroy three rows. Yes, no, no, we're not. We're actually going to keep the destroy rows. Whoopsie doodles. This is why we prep for these things ahead of time. Uh, so you put a seven by one down on the bottom row. It's going to turn the whole board into green. That's the gem we want. That's 500 uh, percent. Uh, more plus the hundred percent for our gear five by two into multiples of 15 now become 25 i don't have the moment but if you have the moment that's going to add another five to that so now it's going to be multiples of 30 on greens on destruction hey did you know that entourages are a thing let's bro indeed uh, so over here you're going to want to not only get your green gems uh, started first but put as much multiply and or green gem damage I didn't set it up. I'm just going to tell you who I think is going to be the best for each category. We'll do it that way. Maybe that'll be easier. So that's number one. Um, but there are others within this category that I think will also be exceptional. Uh, and that begins here. Billy Rieger is still going to be a very dangerous man to deal with. Um, I don't think he'll be the top one in this category, but I think he's still going to be dangerous. He'll also be in the bargain bin. He's on the cusp. But if you have both of his gears, so you get that extra uh, multiplied gem strength for having the second gear, he can be very dangerous. Again, another person that you would have a Piper's power plate on, and uh, you would get a lot of extra damage. It will be yellow gem damage, but he does at six gold maxed out with all of those things. He does 375 million damage and I made a video about that if you haven't seen it yet I'll try to link it somewhere up on the top right there for you uh, but now you're going to add plus 10 multiply strength on top of that so Billy Rieger also going to be a massive smasher for this feud right here uh, and last but not least the everyone's favorite punching bag <clears throat> the recently revamped uh, Grayson Waller so Waller is going to also with both gears, moves starting with more, but plus four multiply gem strength. So Waller's gonna have that going for him. He's going to create multiply gems. You can put a uh, Piper's power on him as well too. Uh, you can, if we ever did decide to max this out, we're gonna make a whole ton of gems on the board into green gems uh, with the stunner. Um, this increases the strength. I don't think you'd use that. I think you'd probably go triple 
you'd go triple green on Grayson Waller, and he's also going to hit a ton. We saw that the last time we did such a boss uh, battle. So I think those are three that are going to be probably the best for you in the focus category. Again, for me, uh, the best one in there is going to be probably Zombie Sammy. Uh, but Billy Rieger, a lot of people have taken him up really high. So I think he's going to be uh, another one that's going to be really, really good. Uh, so in terms of the chaotic category where we find ourselves uh, now, uh, is it any of you? It is none of you. It's actually you. So I think probably the best one that's going to be in this category, I don't have them, but Razor also has gears. Actually, I can't show you because I don't have them. Uh, but Razor does have gear, so Multiplies are going to increase their strength by 5. Again, that's really what we're looking for. Did not need to close that down. Um, destroying Multiplies, he's going to make a bunch of Multiplies on the bottom. Uh, we are going to turn, where is it? Botch into Multiplies. We're going to turn them into Green Gems somewhere. One of these turns them into Green Gems. There we go, Choose to make Green Gems, so not the best in that regard. Um, but I think he's going to be one of the best in this category, but... Another person who is also going to be good uh, for this category, actually, we can probably take these two off. We'll find them easier that way. Uh, I think is actually going to be you. I think without having the trap gems being nerfed, KO uh, is going to be uh, probably a turn two killer. So if you have a KO and your, your um, mates in with you, your four partner, three partners, can take out the green shield and you can continue to buff up your trap gems and all of that damage that once the shield goes down, I think KO is going to do some nasty damage right there. So for me, it's going to be KO over Razor, but I also can't put Razor on here because I don't have them. So one of those two is going to be the best, I think, in that category. Uh, next for us is going to bring us on to the aggressive category and... Whew, aggressive category is weak sauce for this one. My recommendation is to just don't. Don't expect anybody in the aggressive category to actually win this for you. Put somebody in who can make green gems and multiply gems. And he has a buff that does it. So if you've actually taken him that high, uh, he has a mo he's a buff. He has a moment that actually works with that too. So extra multiply strength. Whoever you got in this, this aggressive category, again, is is no good. There's really nobody in here that's going to be turn one this for you. Whereas I believe Sammy could turn one this. Razor could do a lot, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to turn one it. KO's going to finish it on the second turn for you and your faction mates. There's really nobody in aggressive that's going to do that. Um, I, again, not... Not the best one this time around, um, but again, if you wanted to put something together, even like a Hall of Fame X-Pac, but again, no one no one in here is really worth our time, so we're not going to spend a lot of time uh, on this one. Uh, when it comes to putting it for this final one, for the defensive category, uh, it's someone that a lot of you have taken the time to get, and I have him here somewhere, or maybe I do. I thought I got him. I got him. I did. I just haven't taken him up that high. Uh, is the Miz. So the Miz having the universal moment that he has is going to be able to be uh, a lot harder hitting with his moment. So you're definitely going to want to get that. And then being again with uh, with plates and other things. Uh, snowfalls, multiplies, and so forth. 25 multiplies into yellows. So I think the Miz is probably going to be the best one in this category. Uh, as well too so that is going to be um, your top four five six or seven we've gone over a few of them uh, in this video uh, again i don't really care for the aggressive uh, category this time about they're not the ones that are going to win you this uh, boss battle your boss battle is pretty much going to be won by whoever you got in the focus category um, that's really going to be your big haymaker hitter provide or if you have some extra in the defensive or the chaotic that's actually going to help you as well too but let me know how you do. Let me know who you think is going to be good for the bargain bin. Who should I add to the bargain bin? I have a list, but I am willing to listen to more that we can throw. People that can do extra damage, break the shield, uh, help your faction, help those who do have the top four. So I look forward to seeing who you think should be in the bargain bin, who you got, who you're using. Thanks for coming to class. Appreciate y'all being here. Professor out. <laughs>